Welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, I'm going to discuss about a concept that can improve the performance of your React Cheese applications, and that concept is Pure Component. Before I talk more on this, let me walk you through what Pure and Impure functions are in JavaScript. I have some examples here. So in the first example, I have a function called add, which takes two parameters, a and b. And inside the function, I'm just adding these two parameters and returning the output. So every time I call the function add with uh, uh, values 2 and 3, the output would be the sum of 2 and 3, which is 5. I have another example to the right side where I have a variable called count, which is assigned to 0 initially. Then we have a function called increment by 2. Inside this, we are updating the count variable by adding 2 and this function will be returning the updated count. So when I call increment by 2, I don't know what would be the output because when the count is 0, it would be 2. If the count is 2, it would be 4. So every time we call this function, since we are accessing the global variable or the variable which is outside the scope of this function, we don't note the output for sure. So the first example is independent of the outer scope. It depends only on the values which are within that scope. So it's independent and we know the output for sure. If I pass 2 comma 3, it is going to give me 5. So I know the output for sure. So this function is deterministic. And when I come to the other example here, I don't know the output. Every time I call increment by 2, I don't know what would be the count value because it keeps updating every time we call this function. So this is a non-deterministic function and it depends on the variables outside the scope. So the first would be easier to debug because we know the output for sure and there are no side effects. The second would be somewhat difficult because we have side effects. When I say side effect, it is depending on the variables which are not only within its scope, but also outside its scope. So simply put, pure function is nothing but a function in JavaScript, which receives some output and gives some output. Every time you pass the same input values, you will receive same output. Impure function is a function which is non-deterministic because the function operates on the uh, variables outside its scope and the state of application might be changed during this operation. So it would be uh, performing some side effects which makes the output unpredictable. So this information on pure and impure functions should be more than enough to move to our main topic. So let's move to the code. I have a simple code here. In app.js, we have a simple state property called uh, name. And I'm sending this uh, name as a prop to the about component. And inside the about component, I'm just displaying whatever data I received here inside a header tag. Also, I added a console log to see how this component is rendered. Notice that uh, this is a functional component. It simply takes props as input and displays the information on the screen. We don't have any API calls or state updates performed here. So this is a pure function. So let's save the code and uh, see if it is properly rendered on the screen or not. And yes, we see the heading displayed uh, uh, with the name I gave in the app component. Now, let me tweak the code a little. When the app component is loaded, I want an interval to be set, which updates the name every second. For now, let's just hard code the new name value. However, in real time, you might be refreshing your page every second and receiving the data from an API call. But for demo purpose, let me just add the dummy name here. Component did mount. And inside this, I will call a set interval, which would run every second. Inside this, I am going to update this name. So let me just call set state 
and update the name to the same value. Let's save it and go back to the browser. We see the same output about Interview Pro. Let me open the developer tools. Move to console. So I have added a console log in the about page, this one. And this is being printed multiple times here. Let me just refresh and see. This is printed multiple times. Uh, this means about component is rendered multiple times every time a parent component re-renders. Since we are updating the state of the app component, all child components within this app component will be re-rendered. So this is updating, this interval is updating the state uh, name every second. So this will be re-rendered. Any child component inside the render will be re-rendered. In cases like this, unnecessary re-render might lead to performance hit. So to handle such cases, React has introduced the concept of pure component and react.memo. Pure component is to deal with the class components and react memo is for the functional components. Let's look at the pure component first. To do so, let's convert the app component to class component. If you're new to class components and functional components, I have explained in great detail in the React.js playlist. So please refer to those videos. Now let's just make it a class component. Class component extends component provided by React.js react library and inside this we need render so now we just converted a functional component to a class component so it shouldn't change anything as of now okay props is not defined so for class components we need this keyword now it's the same thing about is rendered multiple times. So instead of component, try extending a pure component provided by the same library. Now let's go and let me just refresh. So about component is rendered only once. Once we used pure component, even though the app component is rendered multiple times, about component is rendered only once. So this is the advantage of using a pure component. This is similar to that of uh, should component update method in case of primitive types like strings, number, booleans, etc. Value and type of previous and current prompts, previous and current state are compared. Based on that comparison, it will decide whether to re-render the component or not. Whereas in case of objects, shallow compar comparison would be made. It would see if the objects are of same reference and the high level properties are same. So it would give us false negatives in case of nested objects. Instead of just name, let me make it a nested object. So I will add another object inside this. You will have uh, this name object. So inside state, we have a data which holds the object. So inside this object, this is going to be a nested object. Now, instead of uh, in the set state, instead of just updating the name, we need to update the state as well. So first, we'll get the state. Inside state, we will be updating the name property. And here, instead of state.name, I want to pass the complete object. This is data. Okay, instead of date, this should be data. And here also it's data. Now, it is going to be props.data. This would print this whole object. So we don't want that. We just want only the name. So data.name. 
Now what we did is instead of sending a primitive uh, value which was name, we are sending an object to the about component. So uh, about component is still a pure component. Now let's see if it is going to render the about component multiple times or not. Uh, ideally, since we used pure component, it is expected not to re-render multiple times since the object data is same. So let's just move to the browser. Let me just refresh. Now about is rendered multiple times. This is because in case of object, shallow comparison will be performed. So it would, uh, this is the original state and the set state is updating the nested object. So uh, React would understand that something has been modified in the state, but it doesn't know that the updated value is same as the original value. Since the state has been updated, it would assume that about component has to be re-rendered. Uh, for example, if I say date.name uh, instead of passing the object, I'm just passing the primitive value. And here also, I'll just remove this because name will be coming directly. So now we see only uh, about component re-rendered only once. This is because primitive value is passed and obviously the value is same. So value is same and the type is also same. So React will identify that there is no need to re-render. But in case of objects, uh, especially in case of nested objects, there is a chance of false negatives. So I would say use pure components only when you are, uh, when you know for sure that the state and props are going to be simple and are not mutated by some other code. So this is about pure component in case of class components. Now let's move to functional components where we can achieve the performance using React Memo. Let's convert this class component to a functional component. We don't need this extends anymore. And this will receive props as input. In functional components, render is not required and we don't make use of this keyword here. So let's save it. And here, uh, let me just move this state to the original example. Just name. Or uh, let's just make use of the same. But I will pass dot name here and this should this should be props dot data because we are directly receiving the name now uh, we don't need this uh, component and pure component as well so let's save it since we are updating the state i am expecting this to be rendered multiple times let's just refresh and we see the about getting logged multiple times we didn't use any pure function or React memo yet. That's the reason we are seeing multiple console logs here. So now let's add React memo. React memo is uh, basically a higher order function. Higher order function is nothing but it's a function which takes one component as input, performs some logic and returns a new component. I uh, will discuss this in more uh, detail in our upcoming videos. But for now, just remember that React Memo is a higher order component, which means we are passing the about component as input. And what this will do is first time the about component is rendered with a particular property, it will cache the output. Next time when the same properties are props are passed to this component, instead of executing this logic, it would simply look into the cache and uh, return the output without performing any of this logic. Now we added React memo, let's save it. Now it should not print this about multiple times because first time it will simply execute this logic. Second time, it won't come inside this. It would just look into the cache and return the output. Let's move to the browser. Let me just refresh. Now we see only once. The about is logged only once because 
the other values will be coming from cash. So uh, this is about uh, pure component for class-based components and React memo for functional components. Always remember, uh, make use of pure components only when you are sure that your input is not going to be changed. If you're not sure what the input is going to be and what the output is going to be, just make use of regular components. I hope this concept is clear. If you find the content helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.